Hey guys, welcome back. This is actually an incredibly easy illusion to achieve. So all you need is some footage like this, where you walk down towards the door, the camera's on a tripod, you walk through, get close to the camera, look a little confused, make sure you walk back out fully through the door, and then back in. That's all the footage that you need, there's no clean plate required or anything like that. And then it's a simple case of picking the right place to cut because we don't want to uh, go into the fusion with the entirety of this clip. I'll just use unnecessary resources. So we want to cut it just before we come through the door. And if about here should be fine. And then we want to cut it when we go back out. So both cuts just want to be where you're clear of the door frame as this is where the edit is going to happen. So we've got our shortened clip, we just go into the fusion page and all we have to do is if we go back to the start of our tree, start of our um, timeline, we put in a time stretcher node, put our media in into the time stretcher. We select the frame we want to stretch, which we'll just use our first frame because it's got us clear of the of the door frame. So when you use the time stretcher, it usually keyframes the first frame, which you have to um, click on this little triangle just to unkeyframe it. It's something that does automatically. And we want to use frame 371. So if we select 371 as our first frame we should get in our time stretcher viewports even when we scan through the timeline it does not change so what we're going to do is we're going to put a mask around the inside of this door uh, so this frame the door frame then is just going to stay on top of our um, original video and it'll look as though we're walking up to the door rather than through it so it's as simple as getting a polygon mask and we will draw, well it's a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing, just draw a frame around the outside of our door frame a little bit of lens distortion compensate for so take a little bit of time just to line it up Apply that polygon to our time stretcher. Ah, right. Sorry, my bad. You cannot apply a polygon to a time stretcher. So we just need to add in a node that we can apply a polygon to, uh, a polygon mask to, which is as simple as selecting the map control. We select the map control and then we apply it to our garbage mat. And if we put the map control on there, we can see that it's, it cuts out the inside of the door and keeps the door frame on top. So if we drag the map control on top of our media in and we view that in our merge 2, we can see now that if we scrub through, the door frame stays on top all the time. Even though we've walked through the door, it looks as though we're still behind it and it creates this really strange illusion that we're walking up to a, a small door. Now you can apply a bit of a soft edge to the uh, the mask just to make it try and look a, a little bit smoother and blending a little better but if we go back to our edit page now and we play through we should get an illusion where it looks like we're walking up to a small door frame 
we walk back and then we just walk through now if you notice you can see where we make the cut because we get a flash and the uh, the lighting actually changes so the simplest way to overcome that is if we go to our effects library and just apply a cross dissolve between our two scenes and that will just smooth out that transition for us and it becomes unnoticeable and it is as simple as that so thanks for watching guys and again if you like these just drop a like and a subscribe and I will keep them coming so thanks for watching